The first season of Vermeil and Gold aired from July to October 2022 and received slightly below average ratings, probably because it features an excessively friendly protagonist who initially appears to lack any goal or motivation beyond becoming a generic hero for no apparent reason. Furthermore, the entire initial premise of the story is an etchy setup where everything is designed to serve fan service. Add to that the super aggressive jealous childhood friend Lilia, cliched scenes, and other exaggerated tropes involving bullies, and it's easy to see why the ratings for the anime fell a bit below average. Unfortunately, the first season of Vermeil and Gold didn't achieve much success and failed to boost manga sales. Additionally, the official anime Twitter account in Japanese has only 12,000 followers, which is an extremely low number and demonstrates that the anime isn't very popular in Japan. Moreover, both the official website and the Vermeil and Gold Twitter account are practically abandoned, indicating a lack of interest from the producers in promoting the series. Therefore, the chances of Vermeil and Gold being renewed for a new season are low. Additionally, the first season of the anime covered the manga up to volume 5, and currently, the Vermeil and Gold manga has only 8 volumes, and based on the release pattern of the Vermeil and Gold manga, there will only be enough material available for producing a second season around mid-2025. Therefore, if Vermeil and Gold is renewed for a third season, despite the negative odds, it will likely not be released before the second half of 2026. And regarding the plot in a possible second season, also when Lilia enjoyed some time at a private resort after returning to the student council, and while everything seems normal on the surface, the Ortigia army secretly involves itself in the affairs of the student council for a specific reason. Despite some military leaders being aware of the truth about Vermeil, they decide to cover it up and use Vermeil to their advantage, pressuring the student council to cooperate with the army, and later, the Ortigia army orders Janet Granitus of Antria to hand over a demon she possesses, but she refuses, sparking a conflict in which Alto and Vermeil become involved due to the close cooperation between the student council and the army. And if you liked this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new content posted here, and see you soon!